So when this is basically ash below, so this is um, above basically six. So basically, I have to wise flash this for it now. Mm -hmm. So I have to basically close this down again because the emulation keeps the terminal keeps on messing up. So the terminal emulator, and then build it. And then uh, now we have to go back into the main. So we have to go back into basically locate, locate it and then you can build it and then we have to basically west flash it onto the board okay so then at the moment so basically waiting for that to basically load onto the board okay so now so since at the moment it is um, so we can see from our um, basically go into our get our GDK terminal um, GDK term and then we're going to go OK OK and then go to configure go to port and then go to the very bottom and press OK so this is basically showing our port stream here and then since it is so we set it to be greater than 900 so then if we blow on the if we blow, so at the moment it is basically one dot and then if it goes below 900 you will see so at the moment it's at 1, 2, it's at 10,000, 8,000 so we basically need to get this to go to below 9,000 p PM, that's for your CO2 value. So on that once that is so below 900, I mean, so once that goes below 900, then all your LEDs should turn on on the board. So wait for that to go below 900, below 900, below 900, below 900, below 900, below 900, below 900. Mm. Yeah, below 900, so basically trying to like cool down basically the CO2 and then you have your, um, so you've got your temperature in degrees, so you've got your temperature degrees in Celsius, so you've got your temperature, um, so you've got your three different values, so you've got your temperature, so your measured temperature degrees Celsius and your humidity. So raise the for that to go down to 100. And then all those turn on. So hello, my name is Owen Ryan. Um, my student number is C16472982. Um, and this is basically for my video submission, basically a video showing the program running um, with the output for the SEER interface and BLE scanner. And the video should also provide a further explanation of your program um, basically running. 
Um, and, do, do, and then basically, basically we had the code. So basically first we um, basically built our circuit here. So this is the our basically our micro bit and the basically input board that basically connects up to our CO2 sensor and you, uh, as you can see here the CO2 sensor is fashion meaning that basically um, so I have basically connected up basically 3 volts in ground and then the SEL um, the both SEL basically connecting points and the SDA and then from ground and ground and your power for your 3 volts and then you also basically connect up your analyzer so from you basically connect from your um so from your channel one here basically goes into so channel one as I suppose you can't really see very well inside there but basically channel one basically connects into your SC um SCL into there so channel one connects into your SCL and then channel two c connects into your SDA so then when you boot it up then you go into Basically, you want to. So this is basically the code here. So you have basically your start of your code here, which is for the your basically that's for your CO2. And then what we did is basically we took that CO2 value and we then um, we then basically changed it for a for temperature. So we basically changed all our values from from CO2 temp. So for for so, um, so basically we took our CO two and then we changed it to temperature instead. Um, so temperature and ubiddy um, temp and if it was, uh, f so for read temp and gas for re gas read as well. So that was for so we did CO two, we did, did temperature and just basically change for temperature and then for humidity and basically take that same basically copied the top of CO two and then just changed our humidity temperature. And then we basically got our C make list and we added in basically because we basically took from the matrix dot C so basically adding in so to have basically LEDs to show the matrix um, so our basically our matrix dot c code, and then we add it in. So we have our LED matrix. So we have our matrix dot c code, and we basically took that folder, downloaded that folder, and then added that in to the same folder that we're using. So that basically when we basically when we built it through, it would basically all be in the same file in my basically c one six four seven. Two nine eight two student file, and um, so load them together. So then we basically took that main dot c, um, and we then basically opened up our basically get our term emulator, and then we basically locate our Zephyr project basically using the Zephyr um, toolbox, and then to my student account. So then that, that's. So as you can see, that basically look at Zephyr, and then we basically, basically that's to basically the West build for your BLE CO2, and then that runs as you can see there, and then we basically West flash that to our board. So as you can see, that will West flash, and that will hopefully load up. Mhm. Mm and so that's basically West Flash, that's basically gone on to our board now. And then we want to get our GDK um, terminal, so GDK term. And then, so basically we already have, um, so basically we already have our GDK terminal open here. So you went into basically into configuration and you went to port and you selected the very bottom port. And as you can see here, in our GDK term, we have our um, we have our CO two, we have our temperature, and we have our humidity. And basically, since they're all lit up at the moment, then we basically had to use our um, we basically took our code from our LED, and we basically said so that so if basically if the value of our CO two went 
for me, so for somebody who was 650, for, but for my code, since it seemed to be quite a lot higher, I changed it to basically 900 instead. Um, and then, so basically, if the value goes above 900, then you basically put a pattern of um, basically like rows and column. Um, and then, if it's basically, if, and then else, if it's, if it doesn't go above 900, then you basically put a whole basically block together. So at the moment, so it's at 570. So if I blow on the CO2 sensor, and then that will go up to about 6, 7, 8, and then 9, and then only one LED shows up. So basically that's your um, notification that the actual um, basically CO2 has gone past 900 and then if you AC wait might have to bl give it a bit of a wave or something to reduce the amount of CO2 in the air from your breath so basically your CO2 concentration um, is measured in ppm so if you wait for that to go down below 900 then all the LEDs should basically all show up again then so 1000 94, 953, 932, 909, and then as you can see, basically all of the LEDs show up again. Um, so then what we did is we basically got our um, our pulse view, and so they see this is to basically show the IC2, the IC2 trans back in a dot signal, basically your peripheral address, so we basically got our SEL at the top, um, so our SEL at the top, and then SDA, and then we got our I, I squared C, and then if you basically, so you run it, and then you basically zoom in to your values, and then you have your, say your SEL there, and you have your peripheral address, your or slash W B N is equal to zero. Um W E is equal to zero. Um, da, 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 da. um R by W is equal to zero. Um yeah, you see R by W is e implies basically right. Um and then your ACK from your peripheral, so um so as you have your one one zero and then your zero 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 um zero zero by C um one zero by C A C K from peripheral and then your peripheral register number and then your start sent again keeps the transaction going and then your RW now equals one implies the read and then your data from peripheral and then your NAC from controller and then you have at the P at the end here, so your P at the end over there, so that's your stop signal, and then um, so basically, so from all this, I've basically like learned how to correctly um, and basically correctly set up your CO2 sensor with your micro bit connecting up your board together, and then you also have your analyzer which connects into the CO2 sensor, then we basically had to take our main.c and we had basically an awful lot of files from basically this main.c here and then we had an awful lot of files that we had to get from our actual BLE, so inside our actual BLE we have basically all of your SDC30.c that we had to um, basically copy and paste into our files so that we'd actually get to work um, and I suppose it, it wasn't too bad that we basically could take our CO2 at the start and basically had to take hashtag include our SDC30.h which would basically include all our um, basically SDC30.h files SDC30.h which is right here so all our SDC30 um, that we basically got from online and then we basically used that with the matrix.h which was allow us to basically give a visual um basically a visual signal of that of if our um LED, LED was like 
if the no if the CO two temperature was above or below the amount that I that, that we put in, which I put in as nine hundred, um, and then we were able to copy that, which wasn't too bad. And then I was able to basically take out the end and put in an if. So I put in here and then put in if and an else statement saying if if I goes over 900 and then columns and then we ran our GDK which basically undo our configuration. So our GDK as I showed you already. So our GDK which was here and then we did our um, configuration port and then you select the very bottom port which basically gives you your GDK terminal which shows your um, concentration. So thank you very much.